Anthony Inti is the director, producer, co-writer, et cetera, of the short film, Dalle. I'm Riley Chow of Gold Derby. So how did you find out that you were one of the 10 finalists at the Oscars for best live action short? Uh, I, was, I was at home. You know, me and Chingy's, uh, you know, the, the co-writer, he, uh, there was this film that he loved, Burning, the South Korean film. And, and he told me I had to see it, but you know, I've been postponing it the whole time. And so I felt like, okay, maybe I should watch it today just to kill time. And, uh, and so I started watching it, but they, I don't know if you've seen it, but this film is so intense. Um, you know, I, I can't, I, I missed, I missed the, you know, I missed the time, you know, I was just so into it. And then I got a call from uh, Chingis, but I had texted him like, yeah, I'm finally watching Burning and it's insane. And uh, he's like, yeah. So when he called, I thought it, it was to talk about Burning, you know? So he called and I'm like, man, this film, man, like, and he's like, bro, we're shortlisted for the Oscars. And the thing is, me and him, we, we, we prank each other a lot. You know, we, we do a lot of pranking. So I was like, no, 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 please, like, no prank, no jokes, no nothing about this, please, you know? And he's like, no, 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 for real. And we searched, like, online, but it was not, it was not online. And so I was like, are you, are you kidding me? And like, but he was also like, well, I, I, I somebody, I, I saw it, like I saw it on Twitter, like, I mean, but you know, I don't have Twitter and uh, a lot. And then afterwards we got a, an official email um, from the distributor and, and they were like, hey, congratulations. And then it, it became official uh, on our website and, and, and then, and then uh, yeah. And, and then it became real, let's just put it that way, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, now we follow the Oscars at Gold Derby all year long. Uh, and in the last few years, it seems like every live action short nominee or just about is about uh, kids in peril. Uh, so your film is another example of that, although it's not quite as dark as some of the others about getting abducted or getting burned alive or murdering each other. Uh, so you've been on the festival circuit for the last year and a half. Uh, so you would know better than I would. Is this just a very common subject matter for short films or is it just I mean, like especially resonant with the Academy? I mean, I, you know, to be honest, I, I, don't, I have no idea, but I think it's, it's I mean, sometimes um, it's, it's, it's interesting to get your point across through kids. Uh, and, and uh, you know, because, you know, I think maybe it's, 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 it, um, it, it's more maybe appealing or something, but I don't, that's not the, the that wasn't the, the, you know, how do I say it? That wasn't the criteria for me to make the film, you know? Um, uh, I've, I've always worked with kids and, and, um, and, you know, this was like going, I mean, I was telling a personal story, you know, I, went, I was telling a story about my, you know, my, my childhood. So for me, it kind of like made sense that there were, you know, that it was, it, you know, because the film is about innocence of children and, and, you know, and, and the line with the adulthood. So for me, it made sense that it was, you know, two kids and, and an adult or kids and an adult. Uh, but I never uh, started the film thinking, oh, this is the formula for the Oscars or this is the formula for, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, so I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think in general, it's always like when, in, in, in a lot of works that we have done, um, you know, we work with kids, but in general, it's just, it, it, uh, I learned so much from kids and, and, and they're so pure, you know, um, and, 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 and I feel like sometimes uh, it's, it's, an, it's a way, it's, a, it's an interesting way to get a point, to get the point across. Um, yeah, I think so. I think that's why it's interesting. Film, uh, oh yeah, the, uh, the film really focuses on two kids. You've got Matilda and Prince, yeah. and you've said that uh, you were kind of the inspiration for the character of Matilda. So I'm wondering uh, who is the inspiration for the character of Prince? I mean, it's the, there's a, a bit of every, there's a bit of every, uh, like all these three characters have, they are pieces of me, you know, but also like pieces of Chingis, uh, the co-writer, you know, uh, and pieces of, you know, my environment. Uh, uh, but, but like those three characters, they have characteristics that are, very, that are you know, that, that shapes me some kind of way, so, you know. But Matilda, um, you know, on the first look, uh, you know, was, you know, he, 
she was like how I used to be as a kid, but she was even better, you know, like she was like, <laughs> you know, she's like more talented or something, you know? Um, so that's why, uh, you know, because when I was a kid, I was, I was this kid that was, I had so much energy, you know, like, you know, in, you know, in Medina, like I, I was running around, like I have, I'm full of scars. Like I have scars all over and, and, and just like, you know, this adventurous and, you know, like, living in the moment like and also i had like all these random uh talents you know like like you know rapping and then playing good at football and then i could do a backflip and wait like all kind i was just very curious I was a very curious child and i think that's that's um when matilda came in the room you know that's what she 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 uh she brought to me like she, she I was like oh my god this 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 is the, this is who I used to be but she's so much wiser and so much cooler and so much better that it's, she is she is she I mean she is her own uh character you know what I mean um, and so that's that's why you know and and Prince the let's say the the more uh night I. I'm not gonna say naive, but it's just more like uh, um, he's he's a bit more uh, emotional. Like he has more, he's more in tune to his emotions, um, and he's more like you know to the back. Um, but uh, when he feels comfortable, he can he can blossom, he can open up, and that's also you know that's also something that you know like I can also be a very si- silent. You know, I can also be very uh, silent in a room, and but but I can also be the most social person, you know, if I feel very, if I feel comfortable. And, you know, with the boga, um, in the sense of like, the boga is the foreigner, somebody that has lived in Europe and came back to, um, I mean, has lived overseas and came back to, to uh, Africa, um, or let's say Ghana. That was, that was like me kind of like now, you know, uh, going, you know, every time I go back, I am a bug guy because I, I don't live there anymore. But I, I you know, I, I've lived there and I have, I have, um, I, they call me bug guy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, so those three characters kind of like, they have uh, bits and pieces of, of, of myself in it. And, and Prince, you know, Chingis is also this uh, character that is very, uh, it's not, you know, it's not, very extravagant, but he's he's very like uh, calculated and, and always thinks two steps ahead, uh, and and I think that's why the balance is so good. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The prince is a boy of few words, and then on the other hand, you've got Matilda. She's you know engaging in rap battles, uh, and I actually wanted to ask about that because in the kind of rap battle scene, uh, that part wasn't uh, translated in the subtitles. So what yeah. was she saying? Uh, <laughs> I would never tell you. No, uh, that, that's. I mean, we 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 thought. I mean, from the the reason I didn't. Um, so she's saying she's actually talking about uh, this lady that um, that is always complaining, you know, and 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 her complaints is is a, it's actually a bit. Um, it's a, you know it's like a waste of energy, you know. It's like uh, why why are you all always busting busting the energy you know and um and i love i loved it so much like how she performed it that i that we didn't want to translate it you know um i mean we didn't want to subtitle it let me just put it that way you know um and and also like the first time she starts to rap or she tries to rap she gets cut off you know and then when she raps she, she's not subtitled um and and yeah the reason that we did is 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 because it's not really about the rap and that's mostly that's that's uh a lot of the time in a lot of cases also like when i was when i was in a in 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 that space where i was this rapping kid in this in this space that is not child friendly um you know for, for for i was just i was distracted by you know, the rapping more than what was kind of like going around. And so um, for, for, the, for us, that moment was like, okay, you can listen, 
but look but look around though and and is this is this is this a, is this a, a space where you know a, a rap battle should be going on between a kid and the you know so <laughs> and uh and, and so you know that was one of the reasons that we you know it kind of like artistically we felt like it made sense uh to not subtitle it but but we knew what it meant you know she was she was rapping up and, and and also what she was saying was made sense to the film also in the sense of like you should not always be uptight somehow you know you should, it's okay to to be adventurous but you know you, you got to be cautious you know and and um, yeah voila i hope that answers your question yeah uh we don't find out exactly what uh boga wants to do with the kids and that gang you know it's probably something related to child trafficking but uh i, I think you kind of consciously omitted uh, any you know, yeah. explicit explanation. So I'm wondering, uh, did you and uh, your co-writer, Chingis, did you uh, come up with an explanation that you guys know, even if you're not revealing it for the screen? Uh, yeah, I mean, for us, um, we, we had like ideas of what could have happened. Uh, but for us, um, th that was also one of the biggest challenges when we, when we wanted to make this story um, because um, you know, the, when when I was in the when when I was in the situation, um, when I was in that situation as a kid, uh, sometimes the perspective is different. You know, and we wanted to make a film where the, you know, you have two, you have you can have an odd, an older older person look at the film and a younger person look at the film, and they will both experience a completely different thing. Um, in the sense of like a kid will see this beautiful journey where at the end something happens and they go home, life goes on. A, uh, an adult, as of minute, I don't, I think three or four or whatever, when Boga comes into place, there is this fear or this tension or this thing of like, what is going to happen, you know? And so you have this two layers, two different um, ways of seeing the, the same story. And also that's how uh, um, we wanted to tell the story because we wanted, it wasn't necessarily about what was gonna happen, but just you having attention and, and feeling like something had to be done or, oh my God, what's gonna happen or, or, or but for us, we knew uh, what could have happened. Like, you know, a lot of different things could have happened, but also them getting out safe is also one of those uh, possibilities, you know, them not going that far and, uh, or it not going so far, but us uh, almost fearing for, for, for the worst. Um, um, yeah, that, that, was how, that was how we wanted to, to play with it, you know. Um, and not necessarily focus on what was gonna happen because at the end, that's not that was not really what the story was about, you know. Uh, the kids they meet Boga and then you know they call him that because he is a foreigner to them. But I found it interesting that later in the film, when he's with you know his fellow gang members and then his boss comes out, I think his name's Abu. Even he calls him Boga, so I guess he's still kind of like an outsider to that group. Can yeah. you talk about that? Boga, or uh, you know the, the Boga that we know. He's not from Ghana necessarily, you know, but he lives there though, you know, but he, you know, just, and, and also he speaks French, which is a language that's not really spoken in, 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 uh, in Ghana, you know, it's, Ghana is an Anglo-Saxon uh, colonial country. Um, and he also names this languages that he can speak to Matilda, like I speak Pele, Bambara, you know, all these. And, and that's also something that's very, um, uh, I mean, I can recognize it because me being a Boga, you know, I speak different languages, you know, because I have been around, you know, and uh, and so the, those were like little elements that we wanted to give to him to make him like, to make you think like, is he, of course, he, he's not from there, but his boss, they speak French, you know, but the rest, they don't, you know, and so it's more like they could be from anywhere, but at that place and time, they are they are they are yeah in, in, in a space where um let's say they so then you know that you are not gonna be there forever you know it's just it's just like a you know they are always on the move somehow you know you're always kind of like looking for the next thing you know next language next you know next place next 
adventure next whatever um, and they they are not they're, they're not in the, in this box that they feel comfortable with and going to stay there forever they're always like finding the, uh, the next thing you know and that's why he he could also that's why he could also change his mind you know because maybe he had other dreams or, or other ambitions or, or, or um yeah other goals in life or something yeah and so that's why you, you um i kind of like wanted to make him also feel different from his gang you know um that he's also that that he doesn't really fit but he kind of like fits but he's just like he's just trying to make it work you know he's a chameleon you know a ball guy is a good chameleon I like how you say that he's looking for the next thing, whereas I think he's looking for like the next kids to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Anthony, uh, thanks very much for taking the time to chat and uh, best of luck at oh, the Oscars. Man. I mean, if, if we make it, goddamn, that would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs>